I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring roots of quadratic equation. Here is a very interesting question for us. Write a quadratic equation in the form of ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 with roots at only 5. It means that there is only one root. Uh, well, to make it very clear, let us try to sketch it. Let, so we'll sketch a parabola. Parabola represents a quadratic function. Uh, which turns from the x-axis. Now since it turns, that means we have two roots at this point. In our case, that point is at x equals to 5. Do you see that? Now we could have had a parabola which turns in upward direction also, right? So that is also possible, right? So we have many solutions to this question. Uh, let's write at least one of them. If you have a parabola with vertex on the x-axis, then what equation do you expect? We expect y equals to x minus 5 whole square. Now at x equals to 5, this will be 0. Do you understand? So that is what we are trying to say. So we could write this equation as, let us expand this. Uh, when you expand, we get x square minus 2ab, that is 10x plus uh, 5 square, which is 25. So we could get this equation. And equating this to 0 gives us the equation of the form we are looking for, right? So equating that to 0 gives us that particular form. So that could be one solution for us. Now, this solution we got from the concept of factors, or you can say the vertex. We could actually also write equation with one root uh, from a different concept. Uh, let us recall that given roots at p and q, let's say we have roots, we have some roots, then we could write a quadratic function in the form of x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots. equals to 0. Now in this case, since the roots are at 5 only, so we have two roots. That means p equals to 5 and q is also equals to 5. So both roots are at 5. In that case, what is the sum? Sum is 5 plus 5, which is 10. So we get x square minus sum, which is 10 times x plus product which is 5 times 5 which is 5 times 5 25 equals to 0 do you get that so we get our square equation straight away where this is the sum right this is the sum and this is the product right so we could also get in standard form straight from this application I hope that make things very simple now to get different equations we could multiply our equation by any number all the terms let us say by 2 by 3 by minus 5 or whatever and therefore a equation like let me write this times 2 uh, let's say 2x square minus 20x plus 50 equals to 0 will also give us roots two roots at 5 right i could write this as 2 times x minus 5 whole square equals to 0. So I can change this number and write any number of equations representing the given condition. I hope that really helps. Thank you and all the best.